Hello, everyone. Wayne Motts, the President Emeritus and Historian at the Gettysburg Foundation, coming to you on a beautiful day on the Gettysburg Battlefield at the Pennsylvania Memorial for this episode of Museum Mondays. Now, for those of you that have been following our video series, you know that one of the series we're doing is called Museum Mondays, and we pick an object inside the museum of the American Civil War, which is at the Museum and Visitor Center at the Gettysburg National Military Park, and we feature it. So we hope by looking at these videos, you'll then be motivated, you'll be spurred, you'll be interested in going into the National Park Visitor Center, getting your ticket, and go inside the Museum of the American Civil War and look at those treasured artifacts of not only the Gettysburg Campaign, but the Civil War in general. And we like to do some of these out on the battlefield, connecting the battlefield with the object that is in the museum. And today, we're going to talk about the surgeon of the 119th Pennsylvania Volunteer Infantry Regiment, Philip Lighty. And this is his name on the 119th uh, plaque on the Pennsylvania Memorial. And Lighty was born in Philadelphia. He died in Philadelphia. He spent his whole life, save the time that he was in the service, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He was born December 29th. 1838. And he had an older brother named Joseph, who was born in 1823, that was a pretty famous doctor and teacher at the University of Pennsylvania. So when Philip Lighty became of age, he went to medical school at the University of Pennsylvania, and he went under his brother's tutelage. He graduates from medical school from the University of Penn in 1859, and he will join the service, the 106th Pennsylvania in 1861, and he'll be the assistant surgeon of that unit for about a year. And then Philip Lighty will join in September of 1862, the 119th Pennsylvania Volunteer Infantry Regiment. Now this is a unit that you don't hear very much about in the Battle of Gettysburg because it's held in reserve here. The monuments, and there are two of them, one up on Big Round Top and one on Howe Avenue. And this is a six core regiment in David Russell's brigade of John Sedgwick's Six Union Army Corps. This unit sees action from Frederick's all the way to Appomattox, but it does not see a lot of action here at Gettysburg. And Dr. Philip Lighty, the regimental surgeon, later brigade surgeon, is with them the entire time. Now, in the Mine Run campaign in December of 1863, Philip Lighty gets ill. He gets rheumatism. Uh, he actually gets a, a case of uh, a pneumonia. It appears that he has a uh, um, some uh, respiratory issues, and this is going to cause problems when he serves throughout the Civil War. He'll be discharged uh, in 1865. And I made a, a couple notes uh, about him. He marries Penelope Pope in Baltimore, Maryland, and he marries her uh, on February 15, 1865, right at the uh, end of the Civil War. And he'll spend the rest of his life uh, as a doctor in Philadelphia, uh, Pennsylvania. In, on April of 1891, he becomes ill. He gets a case of pneumonia. And according to the newspaper, it says he imprudently went out and caught fresh cold pneumonia supervening, end quote. This pneumonia will claim his life in Philadelphia at his residence on Marshall Street on April 29, 1891. Unfortunately, and sort of in a twist, his brother, Joseph, who taught him to be a doctor, who's also a doctor, is ill at exactly the same time at his residence on Spruce Street. These men die 23 hours apart. Philip Lighty dies April 29, 1891, and his brother, Joseph, dies April 30th, 1891. Both of these men will have funerals the same day. Both of them will be held in vaults in the same place. Both of their bodies will be cremated. Uh, and then eventually, the, uh, Philip Lighty will go to the Oddfellow Cemetery in Philadelphia, and then his body, when that cemetery is defunct, is transferred out to Montgomery County. Uh, his brother Joseph goes to a different cemetery. Philip Lighty has a wonderful Kepi hat inside the Museum of the American Civil War at the National uh, Park Visitor Center that he wore in the Civil War, a six core Kepi hat as surgeon. And that's our feature today for Museum Monday. Philip Lighty, the surgeon of the 119th Pennsylvania, 
Volunteer Infantry Regiment and his Kepi over in the Visitor Center. And the newspaper had a great quote, and I want to read it to you because both he and his brother were doctors. Brothers in blood, brothers in service, and brothers in death. Both these men, doctors, dying 23 hours apart in 1891. So we hope that you enjoyed this video segment from Museum Monday. We hope you'll share, you'll like, interact with our videos, and you'll go to the Museum of the American Civil War at the Visitor Center and visit Philip Lighty's Kepi along with many great Civil War objects in the Museum and Visitor Center.